or not as they are available. But the threshold was met for the Emergencies Act, and now across the country, police of jurisdiction have the tools necessary to keep people safe. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister calls people he disagrees with racist, misogynist. He spent the last month wedging, dividing, stigmatizing and traumatizing Canadians. I understand the Prime Minister admires basic dictatorships, but let's remind the Prime Minister this is Canada, this is not a dictatorship. The Prime Minister is actually pouring gasoline on embers. Isn't it true the Prime Minister is doing this for one reason and one reason alone? It's to save his own political career. Hey everybody, what's up? Jazz Brogans are here. Another What's Next. Happy Thursday. Well, we took a break from all the Canada shenanigans and got back to our own shenanigans here in the states but of course canada comes out and says yeah i know you got bullshit but we're going to double down and see your bullshit with more bullshit it seems now that if you were a supporter of the former president of the united states and donated to the truckers cause the justice minister of canada says you better be worried about your monies. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Canada's Justice Minister, Trump supporters ought to be worried about frozen bank accounts. Canada's Justice Minister, David Lamenti, has told Trump supporters who donated to the Freedom Convoy to be worried about having their bank accounts frozen. Speaking with CTV News, the Lamenti, uh, when Lamenti was asked if regular citizens who donated to the Freedom Convoy protests in opposition to the vaccine mandate should be worried about having their assets frozen by the government, Lamenti singled out pro-Trumpers because, of course, the reporter asked, you just compared people who may have donated to this to the same people who maybe are funding a terrorist. I just want to be clear, sir. A lot of folks say, look, I just don't want, I just don't like your vaccine mandates and I donated to this. Now it's illegal. Should I be worried about the bank? Can, uh, should I worry about the bank can freeze my account? What's your answer? Well, I think if you're a member of a pro-Trump movement who's donated hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars to this kind of thing, they ought to be worried, responded Lamenti. Lamenti also said that truckers could lose their trucking licenses if they participated in the protest or if their company permitted them to participate in protest. This was Ezra Levant of Rebel Media. Trudeau's justice minister says being a pro-Trump is a factor and will decide if your bank account is seized under emergency orders. Let's hear the clown. Funding may be a terrorist. I just want to be clear here, sir. This is really important. A lot of folks says, look, I just don't like your vaccine mandates and I donated to this. Now it's illegal. Should I be worried that the bank can freeze my account? What's your answer to that? Well, if, I think if you if you are a member uh, of you know a, a pro-Trump movement who's donating hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars to this kind of thing, then you ought to be worried. In a nutshell, right there, it's button clownery. The Justice Minister's declaration comes after Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau invoked emergency powers, federal war powers, against the citizenry of Canada to quell the protests that have crippled the country in recent weeks in defiance of the government's vaccine mandates. Among the many measures that Trudeau's government will be taking, the Prime Minister's administration said the people who have participated or donated to the protest could have their bank accounts frozen. Quote, this is about following the money. This is about stopping the financing of these illegal blockades, Trudeau's De Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland said in a press conference on Monday. We are today serving notice if your truck is being used in these illegal blockades, your corporate accounts will be frozen. The insurance on your vehicle will be suspended, she added. Send, send your semi-trailers home. Send, send, I'm sorry, send your semis home. The Canadian economy needs to be doing legitimate work, not to be illegally making us all poor. Wow. The balls. Despite the pushback, several Canadian premier, several Canadian premiers excuse me, have begun to scale back coronavirus restrictions, with Ontario Premier Doug Ford announcing on Tuesday that, quote, the world is done with the pandemic while pressing forward to move on, yes, with your draconian bullshit against 
the truckers. And speaking of, we go to this. This comes out of Breitbart also. Exclusive video, Romanian Canadian trucker Trudeau has caused civil war turned Canada communist. Let's listen. What are the expectations of truckers here? What do they want the government to do? We just want to let us to have a choice, to let us to live our lives, to let us to come back to work, to let us to bring the economy back. We lose every single day now because the border they are closed. We lose money. People they are out of work because of us. They don't have they don't have the supplies. I don't want to be here. I want to. I'm sure soon those Mondays they pick, they they are lifted. All these truckers they're gonna work so hard to make sure we got food on the table, to make sure that we got the supplies for the workers. Yes. We are all prepared for this. Even if I stay here, I'm here for the last two weeks. I'm mentally tired. I saw sad faces. I saw people crying. I'm so. I saw people happy. But I know we are strong. And we're going to bring this economy and this country up. Yes. Maybe even better than it was before. Yes. And I'm, it's so many companies. They don't see it. So many people, they lose their jobs, businesses, small bars. Um, they lose. They go on bankruptcy because of it. Let us live. Let us choose what we want. I don't care if you wear a mask, if you want to stay six feet apart from me. I don't care. It's your choice. If you want to give me a hug, Give me hard choice. It's your what choice. a concept. Don't take our freedom away. And when I come in this country, I thought it's beautiful, unbelievable people. And now <coughs> look at us hating each other. My son cannot see his grandfather because he's vaccinated. My son is not vaccinated. He's not allowed to go to his house. He's sad. And he's talking to get together as a Canadian, to get together and stay strong. That's that's not a word of the leader. He should stand up there and talk to the people as a leader. Because if something happened to this country and we get to war, he's going to be the last guy to see on the, on the front fighting. And I, I feel so sorry that we got where we got. This is not Canada anymore. This is a communist country. It is dividing people. Wow. 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 Christian, a trucker in Ottawa participating in the Freedom Convoy demonstration, told Breitbart News on Friday that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is sowing the seeds of hatred between Canadians and changing the country into a communist state. Facts. Quote, I feel so sorry that we got where we got, Christian said. It's not Canada anymore. It's a communist country. It's divi and Trudeau's dividing people, hating people. He added, it's a civil war between us lovely people and what we really and what really, really hurts because we're all united. Christian noted how the coronavirus man, uh, vaccine mandates ostensibly issued for the purposes of, quote, public health and public safety, end quote, imposed by pro provincial and federal levels of government are destroying people's livelihoods and denying them rights to earn a living. Government decrees marketed as measures to address COOF he said, have caused businesses to close, driven individuals into bankruptcy, and forced others into losing their jobs. Gee, sounds very, very familiar. Christian remarked, we need to put foot on the table. We need everything. We need to survive. We need to keep our jobs. But now we're losing everything because of Trudeau. Trudeau will not let us live to come back to our jobs, to come back to our families, or live the way we lived before. When I came to this country, I thought it was beautiful. He praised Canada as filled with unbelievable people. He lamented my thoughts. Um, wow. To hear the Canadian government, uh, their clown, one of their, one of Trudeau's clowns come out and basically say, well, to invoke Trump, to bring Trump into this is absolutely bullshit and garbage. It's nonsense. That has, Trump has nothing to do with this. Zero to do with this. But yet, if you go against the narrative, oh, you're a Trumper. If you go against the narrative, you're a racist. If you go against the narrative, you're a hater. It's pretty much what they're doing. They are taking literally pages out of Biden's playbook, out of the Democrats, uh, Democratic Party in this country playbook. 
and they are doing a masterful job at it because Trudeau went full Castro by invoking these police powers against the citizenry of Canada. And uh, my heart goes out to them. They don't deserve this. Um, as you just heard, this trucker from Romania who decided to come to Canada to start a new life with his family and for him to go through this shit, for him to see this after he, what he's seen in his own country, the communist garbage spewed in his country, he left that trash and then came this for more trash. Because Trudeau, little fucking Napoleon, sorry for him to do this um, against his own people is insanity, is utter insanity, straight up political uh, garbage. And this is not going to save his ass. It's not. It's not going to save his ass one bit. But um, again, I tip my hat to the truckers. God bless them all for standing their ground. Wow, Canada talk about having their hands full because Trudeau continues to triple down. And um, right now he's showing no give. He's showing no give whatsoever. So um, Canadian truckers, keep fighting. Keep fighting. God bless you all. Keep fighting. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.